I own you. You are manipulating me every time. Each time you lie on me. You said you want to go post something. You want money from me. You want a car. You want this. Is this how you treat me? You want to go and meet someone and fuck someone? Now? Hey, hey, why? Um, yeah, please don't send him the voice note. Nah. Just don't send him this voice note. Don't send him any screenshot. I'm just telling you, like, what happened on the phone call. Just a quick update. So, yeah, on the phone call, he obviously obviously he was just saying a lot and he didn't speak so what happens is we never let each other speak like we don't have a chance to like share how we really feel i always have to listen to bemzy so yeah i sent him a voice i decided to just send him a voice note because you're it was taking up my time you know so yeah i'm really sorry hey for putting you through this like the whole day of you having to beg me like i'm so just so hurt I was so hurt, so please forgive me. I can do anything to make it up to you. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. I will withdraw the case, definitely. But I just uh, wanted him to listen to my voice note and call me back so we have a conclusion. And then, yeah. But I'm sorry. Like, I feel so bad. Like, you know what? I feel extremely bad. Like, I don't even know what to do with my life right now. Um, I feel like a bad person. I feel like an evil person uh, for doing what I decided to do, you know. And I'll never do it again. It was just out of anger. Um, so, yeah. Just don't, swin- don't don't send him the voice note, though. Just know that I'm sorry because this is a personal voice note from me to you. Right? Mm-hmm. Now, this is the boring part, honestly, about these influencers or celebrities. They use their following or, you know, because they are popular and they have a lot of fans. They use their fans to be like, justice for so-and-so. After that, we only find out it was false. Now, Musa was like, on Wednesday, Pemsi goes to... Now, Musa was like, on Wednesday, Bemzi went to CN Bougie's apartment to break up with her. And that is where he was assaulted. Um, so let's go back to three days prior to the CN Bougie, Ramsey Riches incident. On Sunday, CN Bougie lied about having opened a case against Ramsey Riches, Bamsey Riches. CN wanted Bamsey's attention after they went communicating for a month and for Bamsey to give him money. Now, on Thursday morning, Bamsa Riches opened an assault case against CN Bougie. CN Bougie also opened a case against Bamsa Riches for destroying her phone and was paid 18,000 rands to replace the broken phone. CN Bougie has been demanding money from Bamsa Riches and wanted him to buy her a car. Hey, when Nana, I'm not them children. It turns out Sin Bougie lied about the pregnancy and having had a miscarriage. Sin Bougie demanded 10,500 for an abortion that never happened. Sin Bougie's manager pretended to be Dr. Ndebele, the doctor who was going to handle the said abortion. And this is he. Good evening, Dr. Ndebele here. I got your number from Ona. I am her gynecologist. She has informed me that she would like to do an abortion and it is what you both agreed on. I'm contacting you because she has asked that I inform you as your relationship with her is strained and she needs your assistance in this manner. I've explained to her the procedure involved in terms of the abortion and cost. And because of how far along she is in terms of her pregnancy, a medical abortion can't be done for considered can't be done or considered for her safety a surgical abortion would be required and it would need her to stay overnight because because the place center doesn't come out immediately okay the surgical operation would cost 10,500 trans i highly recommend that the process is done asap as she needs therapy after as she needs therapy after yeah when should you require any further information regarding the procedure bank details for transaction, you can contact me here or on your mobile number 076-311-9573 or you can contact one of the Maria Stops Abortion Center. Oh, Maria. Hey. I sent her the money. All right, good boy. You met your match. For a guy like you, always telling her you're rich and smart, you should have known there's no abortion at that price. Also, for a physical and emotional abuser that tried to manipulate her, you deserve to know the baby was never even yours. The fuck? Whoa. Okay, there's definitely something wrong with this girl and the cycle. Do let me know, guys, what you think in the comment section down below. Yes, this is Kakla Gelesi. 
all i can say honestly speaking guys is it's all fun and games until it really happens to you so imagine this thing happens to her and no one believes her because she has lied so much hi nigga there's definitely something wrong with c and bougie there is definitely something wrong with her because no normal person will do this what the f hi mm -mm. I run you. You are manipulating me every time. Each time you lie on me. You said you want to go post something. You want money from me. You want a car. You want this. Is this how you treat me? You want to go and meet someone and fuck someone. Then I run you. Give me, oh God. Sayan Bujio. Sayan Bujio has wounded me. Oh, see me. Oh, yeah. Sayan Bujio has wounded me. Oh, see me. Oh, God. Sayan Bujio. Sayan Bujio has wounded me. Oh, see me. Oh. Yeah. Hey AY, hey, um yeah, please don't send him the voice note, nah. Just don't send him this voice note. Don't send him any screenshot. I'm just telling you like what happened on the phone call. Just a quick update. So yeah, on the phone call, he obviously obviously he was just saying a lot and he didn't speak. So what happens is we never let each other speak. Like we don't have a chance to like share how we really feel. I always have to listen to Bemzi. So, yeah, I sent him a voice. I decided to just send him a voice note because it was taking up my time, you know. So, yeah, I'm really sorry, hey, for putting you through this, like, the whole day of you having to beg me. Like, I'm so, just so hurt. I was so hurt. So, please forgive me. I can do anything to make it up to you. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. I will withdraw the case, definitely. But I just... Uh, wanted him to listen to my voice note and call me back so we have a conclusion and then yeah but i'm sorry like i feel so bad like you know what i feel extremely bad like i don't even know what to do with my life right now um i feel like a bad person i feel like an evil person uh for doing what i decided to do you know and i'll never do it again it was just out of anger um so yeah just don't send, don't don't send him the voice note though. Just know that I'm sorry because this is personal voice note from me to you, right? Mm-hmm.